Hey, um, my name is Dr. Shell. Thank you for coming to Dr. Test Prep. My goal is to help you be as effective as you can on the PSAT and SAT math in the series that we're recording. Right now we are doing Khan Academy Unit 5, Lesson 2. Um, and we're looking at the harder examples. So the easier questions dealt with parallel lines cut by a transversal. These deal more with shapes. Given the diagram, what is the measure of angle X? Well, on the formula sheet, it reminds you that a triangle has 180 degrees. So I will write this out for you. So we've got 3X minus 15 plus 65 plus 2X equals 180. Now let's see how the Desmos calculator can help us while my computer goes crazy. All right, first we're going to type it in. This is how I would do it actually on the test is I would just look right at it and be like, okay, 3x minus 15, and I'm adding 65, then I'm adding 2x, and a triangle has 180 degrees. Doc, I don't see the answer. Well, there is an answer because this is blue. So we just have to keep scrolling out. If it, if it wasn't like that, like if it looked like um, that with the little triangle, then we, we type something in wrong. But the fact that there is a graph means somewhere we have a solution, assuming we typed it incorrectly. And what is our solution? X equals 26. Now, when we get into unit nine, they might ask you to say, okay, now that you know what 26 is, what's the measure of this angle? In which case you could just type it in, 3X minus 15, let's do a letter and then you could type in 26 and get 63 degrees. Or you could type in 2A and get 52. So you could immediately figure out what these measures are once you did the substitution. All right, let's look at number five. The parallelograms at the right are similar. What is the value of X? Well, whenever we talk about similar shapes, we know that our sides are congruent and our, nope, I totally lied. That's an early morning wake up mistake. We know that our sides are proportional and our angles are congruent. So what I love to do with my kids is I just have them find the two numbers and write a fraction bar. Boom, boom, fraction bar. So we'll hit the gear and delete all of this good work. And then we just set it up as a proportion. Three divided by X equals two divided by five. And that's our answer right here. If we zoom in, we can see that the answer is 7.5. Now there's other ways that you could have done this. You could have done um, three over two equals X over five, and you still would have gotten x equals 7.5. What you don't want to do is like 3 over 5 equals 2 over x. So just, I like to keep it in the shape. 3 over x, 2 over 5. All right, consider the congruent triangles to the right. What is the measure of x? So congruent triangles have congruent sides and congruent angles. Um, if I had done this perfectly, I would have labeled it and said, a triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. And like that, but let's just expect that I wanted you to put a 50 here. So what we're gonna do is we know that a triangle has 180 degrees. So the easy way to do this is type in 180, subtract one angle, 50, subtract the other angle, 60, and we're left with 70, okay? Oh, right here, congruent is equal, similar is proportional. All right, um, this is the end of Unit 5, Lesson 2. So as much as I want you to like, subscribe, and watch all my videos, stop, head back over to Khan Academy, and please do the Unit 5, Lesson 2 questions using the techniques that I taught you. And then you can come back for our next video, which is nice and complex <laughs> on right triangle trig. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.